Dear students, now we are going to discuss Thevenin's theorem and its advantages in detail. Thevenin's theorem is mainly used to simplify any complex linear network using Thevenin's equivalent circuit. For example, in power system analysis, the complex linear network can be simplified using this Thevenin's theorem and also to find out the branch current. So here we can consider only linear active network because the Thevenin's theorem is not applicable for non-linear active network. Non-linear means the circuit which is having BJT, FET, MOSFET, transistors. So here we can consider only linear active network. So any linear active network can be replaced with an equivalent circuit which consists of a single voltage source in series with the equivalent impedance. So this is called as Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So here this linear active network may have a number of resistors, capacitors and inductors. But that can be simplified with this equivalent circuit that voltage source in series with the impedance. So you have to remember this Thevenin's circuit means voltage source in series with an equivalent impedance. So here this VTH is known as Thevenin's voltage that is also called as open circuit voltage because it can be obtained by removing this load impedance and the voltage between the terminals A and B. So here we can take the voltage between the terminals A and B with this ZL is equal to 0. That's why it is called as open circuit voltage. So next one is Thevenin's impedance or an equivalent impedance. So here it can be obtained by removing the load impedance and also short circuiting all the voltage sources in the linear network and open circuiting the current source. So we are going to simply remove this load impedance and short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source in the given circuit to find out the Thevenin's impedance. So this is the condition for Thevenin's impedance. So here we can consider a circuit which is having a number of impedances Z1, Z2, Z3, current source and voltage source. So this complex circuit can be simplified using this Thevenin's equivalent circuit VTH in series with the equivalent impedance. Do you understand this one? Next, the steps in Thevenin's theorem. The first step is to remove the low resistor in the given circuit. Then to find the Thevenin's voltage using the circuit analysis method. Normal circuit analysis means we can use KCL, KVL, mesh analysis method. So any method can be used to find out Thevenin's voltage between the terminals. Okay. So next find the Thevenin's impedance by short circuiting all the voltage sources and open circuiting all the current sources in the given circuit and finally find out the load current. That is IL is equal to VTH divided by the sum of load impedance and the equivalent impedance. Equivalent impedance is nothing but Thevenin's impedance. Okay. So next advantages are applications of Thevenin's theorem. So this Thevenin's theorem is mainly used to simplify the complex linear circuit. Also to find out the current through any branch of the electronic circuit. It is mainly used in power system analysis. In this power system analysis, it provides an easy method to analyze the power circuits. Okay. So next limitations of this Thevenin's theorem. So as we discussed, Thevenin's theorem is only applicable for linear circuit, not for non-linear circuit. And also it is not applicable for unilateral circuit. So here, the power dissipation of this Thevenin's equivalent circuit is not identical to the original circuit. So definitely there may be some deviation in power dissipation. So that is also a particular limitation. Do you all understand this?